Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Exercise 17.2, the higher derivative. Uh, in this uh, higher derivative, I have like here one page from my notes. When you want to find the stationary point or the turning point, stationary point or the turning point, or here we can see. The first step is what? Is find the expression for dy upon dx. So, okay. The first part I see the equation number one part A. I want to find dy upon dx. So y is equals to x square minus 5x and plus 1. I would like to do first of all the dy upon dx. Very simple differentiation. This is 2x and plus 5. And there are uh, Second step when we are finding uh, the stationary value or the turning point, step two is put dy upon dx equals to zero. Okay, when we substitute zero here, the value of x is coming, x is equals to minus five upon two means two upon five by two point five, or you can write there's no problem, you can write minus five upon two. Okay, this is the value of x. When dy upon dx is 0, remember when you write dy upon dx is equal to 0, that means the gradient is equal to 0. And when the gradient is equal to 0, means your line will be always a horizontal line. Remember, this is a, when gradient is 0. Okay. Second thing, step number 3 is, step number 3, what you have to do using the value of x and substitute in the original equation to find the value of y. Okay, let's start. Step number three, the same value of x, I will substitute in the original equation to get the value of y. y is equals to x squared means minus five upon two whole squared, minus five and minus five upon two and plus one. When we simplify is coming 25 upon four, minus minus is plus 25 upon 2 and plus 1. When you simplify, when you use calculator, you will get the value. When I try to do myself, it's coming uh, 25 upon 4 without using calculator. When I make it by 2, this will become 50 upon 4. And I can also make this 25. So 20, uh, I can make it for 4 upon 4. So the value of 250 and 75 and 79. You can write in decimal. So the value of x is this and the value of y is this. So th this is uh, the value of x and y when dy upon dx is 0. This is called the turning point or the stationary point. So it means the turning point or the stationary point of this equation is minus 5 upon 2 comma 79 upon 4 this is the turning point second thing they asked is find uh, like uh, determine the nature of the turning point okay to find the nature of the turning point this is the finding the nature of turning point what you have to do find second derivative d square y over dx square it means i have to again differentiate again differentiate First of all, remember when we have this uh, positive x square means uh, you will be having this curve and when you, this is a gradient like a straight line. So we got this value. This is the turning point. This is like a, when we uh, find the gradient, y gradient is like put zero. So this is the turning point. Okay. Step number, we are finding the nature, nature of the turning point. For to find the nature of turning point, what I have to do? Turning point, stationary point, maximum point, minimum point. These are all the same like terms. So nature of turning point or stationary point is what? Very simple. I will take the equation. I will use the second derivative. This equation, this equation. dy upon dx is equals to 2x plus 5. I will again do the differentiation. So when I do a differentiation once again, this will become d squared y over dx square is equals to again when I differentiate is coming only 2. So this value of 2 is coming 
positive. Like positive means greater than zero, positive. So I here, I have given an example here. When the value of d square y greater than zero means positive, your uh, turning point will be minimum. When d square y over dx square is negative or zero, it means the turning point is maximum. So in this situation, was it uh, the stationary point maximum or what's the nature? The nature is when this is positive, the turning point, the nature is minimum turning point. Minimum turning point or minimum value of y, this is, so this is the nature. So uh, by this way, we have done this question number one part. This is the com like explanation, the basic I'm doing. If you want to do like uh, whatever the question, we have done this part, 1a. If you want to do, suppose if I do question number, I think so, D should, I should do D. In D part, what's the first step to do? The first step is this in D, we have to find differentiation. So dy upon dx is coming for x cubed minus 16 x and then zero and what we put the value we write step number two is this should be zero so 4 x cubed minus 16 x and when we like uh, we have to make the factors first x is common 4 4 is common also so x squared minus 4 is equal to zero so 4 x is equal to zero one factor x square minus 4 is equal to 0. This, remember, when you have the situation, we have like a, is equals to 4. So it will be 1 time plus 2 and 1 time minus 2. It means we have three values of x. 1, sorry, this is minus 2. 1, 2, and 3. And x is coming here, 0. Okay. Now, what we have to do to find the... Uh, turning point like this is the value or turning point x value now i want to find the value of y so step, step number three is what the same value i have to substitute in in uh, our original equation so for this when i put the value what is the value of y when i substitute here uh, 0 0 and 2 y is coming to the first turning point is 0 2 okay and here when you substitute the value 2 so y is equals to y is equals to 2 power 4 minus 8 2 power 2 and plus 2 this is coming to a square like power 4 is 16 minus uh, 32 and plus 2 so y is coming when you substitute is coming minus 16 and minus 2 plus 2 means minus 14. Second turning point is coming 2 and minus 14. When I substitute this value, this value, uh, because this is minus 2. Okay, when I substitute here the minus 2, minus 2 power 4 and minus 2 power is 2 and plus 2 this will become positive this will become positive because of the power is even so the result will be same so what i will write i will write when i substitute minus 2 the turning point is value of y is also coming 40. okay this way we got all three values of x now oh sorry the value of y this turning this is the turning point uh, the first turning point so it means uh, in this question, uh, we have three turning points because when we have like a, uh, the curve can be like this, it can be like this, so so many turning points. So now, next step is what we need to find uh, the nature. So nature means this differentiation, when you made the differentiation dy upon dx, here, I have to put this again. 4x cubed minus 16x. D, uh, we again need to do the difference d squared y over dx squared. It's coming 12x squared minus 16. 
Now I will put all the values of x. I have to put x is equal to 0. I have to put x is equal to 2. I have to put x equals to minus 2. All the values. When I substitute 0 here, what's the uh, higher derivative? Second derivative. When I substitute 2 or 0, this will become minus 16. Uh, okay, this is minus 16 when I substitute 0. When I substitute 2, so 2 square is, you can see 2 square is 4. And the value of second derivative is, this is negative. Okay, uh, 4 and 4 times is uh, 48 minus 16 is coming positive. This is negative. This is positive. And what about minus uh, 16. When I substitute minus 16, oh sorry, minus 2, this will again the value is coming positive. Okay. It means, it means what we have to do, we have here, I have to write this when, I have to take a little bit down. Okay. Uh, we have uh, like uh, three values. When uh, I'm taking this value here, x is uh, 0. So this value is coming negative. When I substitute x equals to 2, the value is coming positive. Even this x is equals to minus 2, the value is coming also positive. So it means uh, uh, we have like three turning points. And in three turning points, this nature, like when I have negative value is maximum. This is a maximum. This is the minimum. And this is also the minimum. So this is the way we have done second part. So I want to move to the question number two now. So all the parts like we have to do the differentiation of matter is very simple. And remember, I told you one thing. This is uh, the turning point or the stationary point or the maximum point or the minimum point all are same. Okay, uh, if I do question number two part A, two part A is Okay, two part A is y is equals to x power 4 minus 4x plus 1. First step is what normally just find the differentiation. 4x cube minus 4 and substitute 0. 4x cube minus 4 and the value of uh, like 4x cube, x cube is equals to 1 and x is equals to only 1. Uh, there is only one possibility when cube is one value. So, and the value of y will be, uh, value of y will be, we have to substitute the same value in the original equation. So, value of y will be 1 minus 4 plus 1 and it's coming minus, uh, minus 2. So, the turning point or the stationary point is coming 1 comma minus 2. Next step. How we find uh, the nature, maximum or minimum? So nature of turning point. Very simple. We need to copy the first differentiation or equation. We have done it for x cubed minus 4. Again, we do the second derivative. d squared y over dx squared. Second derivative is coming uh, 12x squared. And that's it. And we need to put the value here, like uh, when you have this value uh, uh, of x, because this is not only the value, so we need to put the turning point x1. When the 1 is coming, d square y over dx square, 12, I will put value 1 here, and is coming 12. When this value is coming positive, you can see, when this value is coming positive here, Second derivative, the value is coming positive, so is minimum. So this value is, nature of this equation is minimum. It is a minimum turning point. When you write turning point is what? 1 and minus 2. This is the minimum value of y. Or minimum turning point, minimum value of y, minimum stationary value, all are same. So this way we have done question number 2. I think so all the parts, we have to apply all the differentiation and then you can do it. Okay, in question number three, 
when you see question number three in question number three like find the coordinates of the turning point sometimes they ask only find the maximum value of y or the minimum value of y this is also the turning point okay find uh, the coordinates okay this equation i have to simplify like uh, simple differentiation so this 2x square will move up so remember 2 will not move only x will move this is a very very common mistake the students do like here 8x plus 2x minus 2 please do not do like this this is a major mistake like please do not do like this differentiation simple differentiation is 8 and this will remain 1 upon 2 and what the differentiation is minus 2 x power is minus 3 so it will become a plus you to cancel out and this will become minus 1 upon x cube this is the final equation of the differentiation now what we have to put we have to put 0 here to find the turning point So 1 upon x cube is equals to 8. I shift, shift it in left hand side. And x cube is equals to 1 upon 8. And finally, x is coming only 1 upon 2 when you write the cube. This is the x coordinate of the turning point. Now I want to find the y to find y to get the turning point. I put this value in the original equation. In the original equation is this one. So y is equals to 8, x is 1 upon 2, plus 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 2 whole square. Okay, let's see. I'm not using calculator right now, but you can use calculator. This is 1 upon, uh, 1 upon 4 is 1 upon 2, and this 2 will move up, so it will become only 2 and y is coming. 6 and the coordinates are... 1 upon 2 comma 6 these this is the turning point or the stationary point or the maximum point or the minimum point all the gradient is zero okay now uh this i have done 1 upon 4 let me check 1 upon 4 once 2 and okay that's right so now what we need uh, whether this point is maximum or minimum okay we need to find the nature nature means the second derivative uh, when we do the second derivative like if I copy the first, if, if I just, this is the first, this is the derivative. And I apply the second derivative directly. So d square y over dx square is equals to, this should be, okay, I, I think so. I would like to explain dy upon dx is equals to 8 minus x cube will become minus 3, okay? Now it's easy to differentiate second time. Zero minus and minus is plus three x power is minus four. So finally it's coming three upon x power four. Now when we have the variable, we need to put the value of x put x equals to in the turning point is one upon two. When this you can see when you put the value one upon two, your result will be definitely positive. Like the result will be definitely positive. This so 8, 1 upon 2 times 4, 16, and then you can multiply. Your answer is coming positive. When the answer is coming positive, I told you this value is the minimum value. The turning point is minimum. You can check. I just have in the in my notes when you have the positive value here, this minimum. So question number four. Uh, in question number four, I just would like to not do the whole question. In question number four, when you write uh, differentiation, uh, you have to apply the formula uh, like uv. Differentiation of u upon v. And it's very simple. Like I would like to just uh, remind you, this v will become here v square. This v should be here. And u minus u and v like this way or uh, this this v is in the circle you can check the v is in the circle so this the in first value is this is u this is u and this is v so you can apply differentiation maximum minimum there is no problem